Trump hate spreads to Super Bowl champs and Tom Brady in particular, assassination threats and accusations of white supremacy. The angry left continues to unravel in the era of President Donald J. Trump, and now their poison has spread to the biggest sporting event on the planet, Super Bowl 51. By now you've likely heard that the New England Patriots, under future Hall of Fame quarterback Tom Brady, staged an amazing comeback against the Atlanta Falcons that led to the first overtime in Super Bowl history. After an anemic two and a half quarters, Brady finally began moving his team down the field and into the end zone. When it was all said and done, as reported by the Boston Herald, the Pats won it in OT 34-28. Brady completed 43 of 62 passes for 466 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, and he was 12 of 16 for 150 yards on the tying and winning drives in the fourth quarter and overtime. The five-time champion led his 51st game-winning drive in the 51st Super Bowl. No conspiracy here, just great football. President Donald Trump even got in on the act, predicting an eight-point Patriots victory, very close. That in and of itself became controversial, and it folds into the overall narrative that began to develop no sooner than the game ended Sunday night. To the perpetually angry left, not only was the Patriots' victory an act of white supremacy, but there are idiots posting pictures of themselves on social media with guns claiming Brady needs to be assassinated. Related, see how the insane left is totally unhinged at Libdards. News Falcons QB Matt Ryan is also white, so if he had won, would the same irrational hatred be directed towards him? Likely no. Why? Well, because we know that Brady, and Patriots future Hall of Fame head coach Bill Belichick, are Trump supporters. The lunatic thinking goes this way, white guy Brady somehow used his white privilege with the rest of the white players on his team to win, making him a fascist Trump supporter who doesn't deserve to live. No sane person thinks like this. If we assassinate Trump we get Pence but if we assassinate Brady we get the AFC back number make Heath great again, tweeted one. So who down ride with me to the Patriots Super Bowl parade and assassinate Brady in Boston? Another tweeted, as reported by Infowars. There were plenty more threats, no doubt from tolerant leftists who detest violence unless, of course, they justify it against political opponents. The Secret Service has been working double time tracking down all of the threats of violence made against Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, Unbeknownst to most of these fools making threats on social media, it's a Class E felony to threaten the president and his successors. But it's also a crime to threaten private citizens as well, though laws and punishment differ from state to state. Still, threatening to kill an NFL quarterback because he skillfully won a game just because he is a personal friend of a president with whom they disagree is left-wing fringe stuff on another level. What's even worse about all of the nonsense is that it's not even based on reality. Fascism is a left-wing construct, not a conservative one, the Nazis under Hitler were left-wing socialists and authoritarians, Trump represents none of those qualities. What he's done as president, and is trying to do, is enforce existing laws including those that his predecessor enforced. President Obama's immigration policies were actually in conflict with what he said about them publicly. While claiming to be all for immigrant rights, the Obama administration deported more people than his predecessors. Related, see how President Trump's immigration ban plays out at Invasion USA. News. And that includes criminal aliens, which is what Trump wants to focus on. The angry left seems to be using every opportunity no matter how ludicrous, stupid, or unrelated to agitate for violence. The country's patience with them will eventually wear thin.